Professor Sir John Horton is one of the world's leading authorities on the connections between environment, science and Christianity. He was invited to take part in Shrewsbury's Darwin Anniversary Year celebrations. Well, Darwin was a, a great observer. He took meticulously observations of the natural world and went all around the world doing that. And then he started to try to put those observations together. That's a mark of a really great scientist, somebody who looks at his observations and really studies them and sees what comes out of them. So he's a great scientist and he made an enormous contribution and has helped us very much in our understanding of the natural world. There are some Christians who are afraid of Darwin and, and what he stood for. Why do you think that is? People took the idea of evolution and made it into a much bigger thing. They said, ah, oh, evolution, what a marvellous idea. Um, we can, we're evolving in all sorts of ways. You see, we're getting better, we're progressing. It's a sort of progress which is going on in many areas of life. So evolution became, became used in areas where religion has big things to say. And so Christians were very worried about that, and they blamed Darwin for it. And it was nothing to do with Darwin. Has there ever been a conflict between science and, and faith in your own life? I've been a scientist all my life, and I was brought up in a strictly Christian home. Um, my father was an anti-evolutionist, anti but I never really had any conflict myself between the science and religion for the simple reason that the science I was doing was God's science because God was the creator, and therefore there could be no conflict. The main battle between science and faith has been in the 20th and mostly the 21st century. In some places you find children being faced with this awful dilemma, do I believe in science or do I believe in God? That's criminal to put that before them because the science is God's science. And they can illuminate each other. Your science can illuminate my faith. And my faith can help me illuminate my science. Where do the laws of nature come from that scientists are exploring? We discover them, we find them there. They're not part of science. They're the basis on which science is built. And where did that come from? It's God who's provided that. <laughs>